What's going on, Sandboxers? We have another blog post for today's video. But before we get into that, I have two important announcements. Number one, December 11th, I'm probably going to be out of commission for a little bit because I will be getting my wisdom teeth pulled. So for the next two weeks, I'm probably not going to be putting up any sort of weekly blog post and I'll be recovering. But a positive is the second announcement on December 25th. I will be doing an Iridium Sandbox Showcase. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to be announcing a whole bunch of new sort of games coming to the platform, a bunch of different demos, announcements, teasers, a bunch of stuff like that. So it's going to be really cool. But I just thought I would inform you guys about it because it's going to be a big deal. And if you're wondering where I'm at, I'm probably in bed drinking soup and trying to recover as fast as I can after getting my wisdom teeth removed. Anyways. Let's get into today's blog post. Matt starts us off this week with the blog post on some positive news and the recent announcement of open sourcing Sandbox. He mentions the response has been overwhelmingly positive and that they reached over 3000 stars and over 80 pull requests, with 30 of them being merged already. He thanks everyone for their contributions and being interested in the project. They've been working hard on getting things working so they can start to accept more pull requests for the future. This is very good news for some people that are out there. But Matt has added native Linux binaries to the open source repo for enthusiasts to play around with. These are specifically for dedicated server and game client only, as the source two tools don't compile for Linux. He also states that these are not shipped on Steam as they're not usable yet. But still, pretty interesting news for all my Linux people out there. Laylad adds balloons and wheels to the sandbox mode as he's going to be making it easier for a lot of people to create some cool stuff, including vehicles, which is really nice. And as you can see right here, it's also showing some really cool things you could do with it. Now, here's a really great update for all my people who love animation, specifically with Sandbox's editor and want to improve on it. Zix mentions that they've added a suite of new features to the movie maker to help with animating characters. Previously, as from what I remember, it was a little bit tedious. And even though it is possible now, it's pretty easy just to go and animate these characters. But this includes IK controls to pose characters more easily and the ability to import animations from models and tools generating animation using AnimGraph. There's also documentation on this, which will be a part of the blog post link down below in the description. But this is awesome. I'm super, super excited about this because I've been working alongside with just trying to make animations for my games. And also I love cinematic stuff here and there. So this is a great, great thing for animators. All right, let's get into our lightning round. Screen space reflections have gotten some fixes and look much better now. VR is getting some stability fixes and will improve to fixing VR down the line. Grenades have been added to the weapon collection with several different versions, as you can see right here. And some of these grenades that are added are such as flash, frag, smoke, incendiary, and much more. So a little bit of some closing thoughts here. Not much really going on with this blog post, but it is really cool to see that people are starting to get more interested in Sandbox as it becomes an open source engine. And tons of people are working on improving it before the official release in quarter one, 2026. This has been an incredibly, incredibly awesome time, especially now to get involved with anything related to Sandbox. If you're a game developer or if you're someone who's interested, who wants to create either items or add ons or anything like that, you should definitely go and start now. And if you want to know on how to get started, I made an entire video on how to get started with using the Sandbox editor for a lot of people who are confused and don't know what they're doing. I got you covered. Either way, that's all we have for this video. Check that video out on screen. I will check you guys out in the next one, and I will see you then when I'm recovering. Thank you so much for any get well wishes, but yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. See you guys next time.